I'd like to welcome everyone to the pinnacle of gaming on the internet. It's a uh, it's a triple B game. A triple B game. And Ethan is back for the summer, so you better believe this is going to be great. Be prepared. I am prepared. Let's do it. Jeanette Chung, and welcome to New Hive Tonight, a new program that explores bees who aren't satisfied with their seemingly preordained lot in life, and now struggle to change their fortunes. The reason this is a new program, of course, is because, well, no bee has ever really done it before. Until now, tonight, the bee who brought the insect and human worlds together, he's touched our hearts and our venom bladders. Barry B. Benson. Thanks for having me. You know, you're shorter in person than you look on TV. I'm told the camera adds five millimeters. Barry, your face is everywhere. T-shirts, posters, books. Your mug is on a mug, for B's sake. There's even a video game. I hadn't heard about the video game. It's both challenging and entertaining. So tell us, where did your hero's journey begin? Well, as you know, Jeanette, aside from having to break your way out of a wax cocoon at birth, College is one of the most challenging times in a young bee's life. Yes, I remember. I went to BU. Oh, yeah, me too. Well, well, it really is the only school. Go, Go BU. BU. Anyway, Jeanette, it all started for me the day after graduation. I was really trying to figure things out. I see. Take us back, Barry, to that first day. Roll it, Hal. Oh, so this is going to be his life story. Oh, this is going to be great. Oh, this will be fantastic. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. Gotta go. What? No breakfast? No, thanks. I don't want to be late. I can't believe this day has finally arrived. My boy is going to work at Hunnex. Wait till the girls at the nail place hear my Barry graduated BU with straight Bs. None of their sons graduated with straight Bs. Now go down there, son, and show them you're a Benson. Don't do that! Your father didn't leave on good terms. Oh, for the millionth time, <sighs> Janet, I did not steal those post-its. Bye, guys. Oh, Martin, will you stop it? What do I need with boxes and boxes of post-its? Hi, Barry. Before we face the challenges of our new lives after graduation, we've got to get a couple of things straight first. Use the A. You can also hover by pressing the left trigger. Now, like now, for instance, I'm already waiting for you at the Hunnix entrance. See? If you want to get there faster, go to the next car and ride it up here. Remember, though, I'm still waiting for you over at Hunnix. Check your mini-map if you get lost. You can get into all of the cars with the Y button. All right, so Ethan and I just got done watching the movie. Is this the new Grand Theft Auto game? Yeah, with bees. Yeah. Give me your honey. Give me your honey. Ugh, I thirst for the honey. So we can get in the car, and I would give the movie a solid B+. Plus. Yeah. Is that a Volkswagen Beetle? It might very well be. Alright, so we can't drive the car, and Ethan was super jacked about this game. Oh, we can drive the car. Let's so, run someone over. So what I've heard, this game is what all the buzz is about. That's what I heard, too. And you're welcome. We're going to be here all week. So everybody just moves out of my way. Whoa. <laughs> Is that one of those new smart cars I've heard about? <laughs> it might be. Now I can't stop doing it. I'm sorry, audience. It's just going to happen. It will never end. <laughs> What's your favorite uh, meme on this movie? That's why you were jacked about playing this. When I showed Ethan this, he was like, yes, let's play it. I think the movie in itself is a self-contained meme, and just the fact that Seinfeld is a B. Yep. Barry Seinfeld. Barry B. Benson. Barry B. Benson. It's nice to see you, but I really can't stand it. Yeah, Grandma. She's got spots on her jacket. That's not how bees work. That's true. She's like a cheetah bee. That's a violation of dress code. Be prepared to receive a ticket in the mail. Uh, Barry, um, over over here, Barry, uh, here, Barry. Hi, Adam. I'll tell you, I am excited. Think about it. It's our first day of work. 
We're about to embark on the next stage of life. Which leaves us only one stage away from death. We're a two-stage species, you know. Just give it a chance. Who knows? You might like it. That's what you said about B. Pilates. I still can't extend this arm all the way out. Sorry, pal, but nothing you say can bring me down today. Oh, I can try. Welcome to Honex, making honey the same tried and true way our ancestors did for the last five million years. Honey is brewed here 24-7, 365 days a year. What about leap year? Every four years on February 29th, all workers are treated to a free spa day, followed by a concert in the park. Wow, really? No, just kidding. We make honey that day, too. Oh. This is my stop. I'll catch you after my shift. Remember, the shift makes the man. You know, that's not really an expression. Oh, never mind. Attention, citizens. Do you want excitement? Do you want adventure? Do you want to serve your hive? A new job station has just been installed in your neighborhood. Come and see another quality product brought to you by Honex. The Honex Corporation, a division of Honex. Attention, a new Honex job station has... This job definitely does not seem like the bee's knees. Definitely does not. Feels like they're working you to the bone. Oh, it's a bee's life, man. We use only the freshest ingredients to make our honey. And now you can help make it even better. Just pick up the freshly steamed honey. Planko. Processing. It's not easy, but quality <laughs> Your prize? One drop of honey. Are you good enough to it's like one of those team? bees with the, the finger on their head. Collect, collecting the drip of honey on oh, the way yeah. through. Alright, so we gotta take jobs, it looks like. And we gotta do number one. Or is this just a mini game? I think that might be the whole game. Just a mini game? I think it might just be a mini game collection. Alright, let's try this out. Listen up! Operating the tube is easy. Use the left thumbstick to move it left and right. Align yourself to grab the honeycombs that are falling down from the waffle iron above. One thing though, some of them will be burnt and we don't like that so let them go. That pretty much covers it. Yes to shiny, no to crispy. Pay attention. Fill the quota and Hunnix will reward you. Do you want me to repeat my instructions? No. You can't forget your BPE, B personal equipment. <laughs> so, like I said, Ethan and I just finished watching the movie. My favorite joke was at the very end where the mosquito comes in, who's voiced by Chris Rock. And he's like, I got the, the blood-sucking... How does he say anything? You know. You're a lawyer too? Yeah, it was already a blood-sucking parasite. All I needed was the briefcase. Yeah. That's my favorite joke in the whole thing. Excellent work. Every win brings us closer. Woo! Hello? Hi. Who is this? It's Adam. Oh, hey. How'd you not know it was me? Don't you have caller ID? Nah, I don't want some guy messing with my antenna. It's unnatural. Anyway, I'm done for the day. Want to share a cab home? I can. I volunteer to work a double shift. Really? Wow, good for you, Barry. And on your first day, what initiative. You're really trying to make a good first impression, which I think is fantastic. You were being sarcastic, weren't you? Yes, I'll see you at the cab stand in five minutes. Wow, those bee jokes. Yeah. First day at work, only two more and then you're dead. I wonder how long bees live for, actually. It's not that long, I don't think. I can just jump in some random dude's car. It's carpooling. <laughs> and then I get to drive. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Shh, shh, excuse I, me. <laughs> I know where you work better than you do. Just be quiet and enjoy the ride. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta get to, like, a little hive thing, I think. This is actually a pretty good looking game for a 360 yeah. title, I think. It's not bad. So, Ethan, welcome back for the summer. Ethan's gonna be here, we're gonna be doing a whole bunch of playthroughs. It's gonna be a, a heck of a time. I'm Hope glad to be back. Yeah, I'm, and I'm happy you're here. I don't, I don't have a bee joke for that, I'm just happy you're here. We're running out of bee jokes. The honey pot's running dry. Yeah. Really quickly, too. Honex cares about your well-being. 
I like how I'm just taking this guy with me. Those eyes glowing are very ominous. Did he just have a his helmet on and then it just went away? His teeth are glowing. It's the dead soul of stare of a worker drone. Right. I have no soul. What a great first day. I can't imagine anyone having a better first day of work. I can. What is with you? Can't you enjoy this just a little? What's to enjoy? I mean, it's not like a surprise opportunity here. Ever since I was a larva, the only thing I've heard about is honey. Every minute of the day. It's honey this and honey that. Honey, honey, honey. Everything is honey. Well, there's also wax, but mostly it's honey. What are you saying? I just have to believe there's more to life than making honey. Barry, we're bees. Bees make honey. That's what we do. Spiders spin webs, silkworms weave silk, snails... Uh, well, I don't know what they do, but you know what I'm saying. My point is, Barry, I, I just think you need to go with the flow, you know? Flow? What flow? There's no flow here. Oh, there's flow. Uh, taxi! So, you coming? Um, you go. I'll catch up later. Attention, citizen! There's plenty of flow here. The flow of the Golden River is the honey. The Golden River. I wonder if they'd take a golden shower when they want to get clean. You think when they have breakfast and they want honey on toast, they just vomit onto their toast? I don't know if they puke up honey, do you think? Don't they, like, eat pound and then they... Or don't they, like, eat nectar and they spit the honey back out or something? Yeah, Mama Bee's serving honey with the pancakes. Here, yeah, sweetheart, have some honey. There you go. Fresh honey. It's fresh and warm. Delicious. Mm. Please tell me you're going to be able to drive from the back seat. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. I see a honeycomb. What does that even do for me? Where's there? Oh. You get a promotion if you can collect it. There's probably a staircase inside, right? Let's check it out. It would be odd if you couldn't get upstairs from inside your own house, right? What an odd contemporary house. I have a second floor, but I can't get to it. Man, I knew I shouldn't have trust that carpenter ant. Ooh, you were staying in the bar there. You might be able to get the height with that. Where is it even? Oh, that's probably... Is that the staircase? That slope? Right there? Oh. Uh. Yeah, well, when I want to go upstairs for the night, I have to go outside, and then I have to walk up the side of my house. Right. 1 out of 50. Okay. We probably won't be collecting those. We'll just be on our way. But you can't progress the story to the next part until you collect all 50. Oh, man. I hope it doesn't go like that. Cab driver job trial. Driving this beautiful twin turbo engine late model cab, you'll leave your old job in the dust and get the chance to pick up customers all over New Hive City. You'll need quick reflexes and a sharp eye for directions to really clean up at this job. But if you measure up, the sky is the limit, my friend. Please complete the training certification to take advantage of this wonderful career opportunity. Just to let you know, you've got a taxi job still outstanding. All right, we're gonna do one more of these trials. And then we will call it an episode. Not what I expected out of this game so far. I thought we were going to go outside into the great beyond. Go, go, go! You're just a worker bee. You're not a pollen jock. You have to be bred for that. Come on. Oh, I was bred to fly, man. Okay, pal. You know how to handle a set of hot wheat. I'll tell you where to go. Don't you worry about that. But you've got to be on time. That timer over there is all you need to worry about. Remember, spare time means spare change. The swift turn, the sweet taste of reward. So hustle up. Meanwhile, you may find that you have more than one fare to deal with at a time. That's a good problem to have, friend. You'll just have to deal with it. So basically, if you have more than one customer, not our problem. Figure it out. This is like the B version of Crazy Taxi. I was just going to say that. That's a pretty good game. I wonder how they make the cars, because everybody's so busy making honey. Who's got time to make the cars? Sentient honey. I don't, I don't think honey can come alive, but... Do the cab drivers make honey while they're... I was gonna say pedaling, but these probably aren't pedals. 
You think they're just like flintstoning this? They might be. You think the motor just makes honey as it's running around? Ooh, it could run on honey. The engine powered on nectar and it spits out honey. Alright, we gotta deliver this person to their job. You know, I don't know what these people are doing out and about on the streets. You work 24-7. Until you die. Yeah, there's a lot of people here. I wonder if you can talk to each person in this game, because that would be pretty ridiculous. Probably. Probably. B. Yes, yes. I think it's funny that this game got a movie game, and nowadays we don't get any movie games anymore, but this game well, got this game, a movie game. This game earned it. <laughs> nice work, friend. You're a credit to your profession. Is that a honeycomb I see? Oh. Is that a honeycomb in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? I believe there's multiple honeycombs that I see. Or is that a stinger in your pocket? Or are you just happy to see me? We have a uh, three bogey spotted in the distance. Wait, where? Where are the honeycombs? Behind you. Oh, let's get the honeycombs! Wait, do you see another one? Why can't I fly anymore? I'm doing... I can only hover. I thought you could only hover. Alright, next time, more of the B-movie. We'll see you guys then.